just north of the Windy City of Chicago. My name is Darren Weissman, and I am a doctor of chiropractic, holistically trained, and uh, the developer of the Lifeline Technique. And I have been living my life passionately, um, just gratefully sharing what I know to help people live an optimally healthy life, find balance and discover purpose and things that don't always look purposeful. And um, today's webinar, uh, I want to set a vision of what it's going to look like so that we can really get the most out of it um, and have this be an experiential process for each and every one of us so that more than just being a talking head that um, you can really find something valuable in what it is that I'm sharing. Um, in 2002, I developed a system called the Lifeline Technique. And it has built upon my own personal journey of really struggling as a, a young boy with my health, um, physically and emotionally struggling in school and uh, doing my best to find my way and uh, not always coming out on top. And long story short, I um, found my path through chiropractic and um, in finding chiropractic, I discovered that there's a natural way to enhance my body's ability to heal. And while in chiropractic school, I discovered acupuncture and acupuncture just melded so beautifully with chiropractic. And uh, my passion for natural ways to connect to the mind, connect to the body, spiritually be my fullest and greatest potential, brought me on a journey around the world, studying with people that are masters in what it is that they do. Studying in Sri Lanka with this amazing gentleman. His name is Lord Pandit Professor Sir Dr. Anton Jayasuriya. Hold on a second. Here's a picture of him. Beautiful guy. He, uh, he passed around the time of the great tsunami that hit Southeast Asia. Studied in Beijing with the top acupuncturist named Yu Hairo and with top mind-body healers throughout Europe and the States looking to empower myself and empower the patients that I cared for. And uh, on June 17, 2002, I had uh, an awakening where I saw how all of these ancient systems of natural healing and modern days of ways of looking at our body, looking at our behavior, patterns that exist, I saw how all of these things actually come together into one single system. It literally was an awakening. And um, since that time, I have written three best-selling books and I have taught seminars around the world teaching people this profound system of inner healing, optimal health, thriving. Right now, there are in 24 countries around the world people that are educated and certified in the system called the Lifeline Technique. And on December 15th of this year, I'm hanging out with my wife, Sarit. We just got our three kids down to sleep. And uh, we're watching the news and there was something, there was a broadcast about depression and men struggling and they're talking about a pharmaceutical approach and, you know, all these different things. And I had just finished 
a boot camp, a lifeline boot camp. And people come from all over the world and I bring through a three day process. And at that boot camp, there were a small amount of men that were there, mostly women. And ultimately, throughout all of my years of teaching the lifeline, a good 90 plus percent of the people that have become certified that know the lifeline are women. What was amazing at this boot camp was the men that attended, it was an epic shift. It was profound. And I was talking to Street, I'm like, could you imagine the impact that it would have if men in our world really understood the nature of their mind, the nature of their heart, how to process emotions in a simple, fun way that enabled them to achieve their fullest potential of excellence, really know what it means to be a man in today's world. And I started to hem and haw inside just thinking, God, it'd be so cool, you know, but part of me was just wrestling with myself like, God, how do I connect with men about this? Because for whatever reason, there just seems to be this block as far as why men go for it and why they don't. Some kind of challenge that culturally we as men um, struggle with when the concept of emotions and being authentic and expressing them and showing up in vulnerability, that there has been this journey that has been this ultimate challenge. And so I put it out on Facebook. I said, you know, I'm, I wrote, I wrote this, this message and um, asking, you know, hey, what do you think about me putting out a lifeline program specifically to empower men to live intentionally, to digest emotion, and to really empower moving through and manifesting life we love to live. And I got an overwhelming response back from so many people that uh, I knew that it was something that I had to do. So since December 15th, I have been working um, really intensely to manifest this process. And I've done that. And um, it's a course that I'm going to talk to you about tonight. And um, what I encourage you to do along this process is just to be open to listen and be open to see things potentially in a different way than you've been seeing them because maybe there is another option that exists in awakening the courageous leader within you. Maybe there is a way to shift the things that you struggle with, where you find yourself stuck, patterns of stress, things that you don't tell to anyone, and that maybe you would never tell to anyone. Maybe there's a way that you can create a shift. And um, my intention tonight is I'm gonna bring you through a process so that you can have an understanding what is different about this system of the lifeline and how you can apply it to what you already know and take it a step further. Um, there are a few great men um, that I've specifically asked to be on this call tonight because they've been involved in the lifeline. They've been using it. And uh, at the end of our call, I encourage you to stay on for the entire time. I'm gonna have them just share um, their experience of how learning this process, applying it into their life has made an enormous difference in their life and their relationships 
what they do for a living, what they do for a loving. So thank you for showing up. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited to be able to, uh, to share this with you. I want you to just take a moment right now to um, acknowledge that right now, at the core of everything that's going on in your life, at the core of your thoughts, the health of your body, the relationships that you're currently experiencing in your life, there's an energy that is like an undercurrent, a riptide in the ocean. It's always there. It's always influencing you. And when you're able to tap into this energy, you're able to influence the potential of your thinking. You're able to influence the potential of your feelings. You're able to influence the voice inside of your head. You're able to influence the relationships and the people that you love around you, what matters to you most. And um, in the journey that I've had, I discovered that thousands of years ago, the people that lived on this planet had a connection to it in such a unique way that they knew how to access its power, how to stay present in it, and use specific exercises to influence our fullest and greatest potential. In the lifeline for men, the lifeline technique for anyone, the process involves this hand posture. This hand posture in American Sign Language means I love you. If you're at a rock and roll concert, it's like this, it means you're rocking out, or it could be hook 'em horns for you uh, Texas fans. But this means I love you in American Sign Language. This, combined with the words infinite love and gratitude, is a universal healing frequency. And it is a way to tap into the energy of you. So I'm going to guide each and every one of you through the first step of the lifeline right now. And the first step of the lifeline is called the connection. And the connection is all about establishing present time consciousness. That's just a fancy word for saying, I'm here right now. I'm not caught up in the past in the woulda, coulda, shouldas. I'm not worried about the future. How am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to show up in this next meeting? How am I going to perform? The what ifs. It's about being here now. That's part of the game here on planet Earth is, can you be here right now? So join me in this process. I'm going to teach you a moving meditation that uh, the Qigong masters and the acupuncturists from thousands of years ago were using, and we're going to use it in this process right now. I invite each and every one of you to take five fingers on either hand like this. Put it to the crown of your head. This point right here is called your spirit point. It's a specific point on an acupuncture meridian where your spirit comes in and out of your body. Take your other hand in the I love you posture, place it right over the center of your chest. This point is over a gland that's called your thymus gland. It regulates your immune system, your heart, which regulates every cell in your body. And what we're doing right now is we're aligning our spirit with our bodies. I invite you to repeat infinite love and gratitude. Beautiful. Keep your hand here. Lift up the crown point. Place it back. Keep it there. We're aligning the energy of your body, the wisdom of your body, its intelligence, with your spirit. 
I invite you to repeat infinite love and gratitude. Great job. Take them both away. Touch them down at the same time as we unify our spirit and our body as one field where pure love is in your driver's seat right now. Infinite love and gratitude. Relax yourself. Take a healing breath. Let it go. Either hand, put it flat right on your forehead. This point right here connects you to your pineal gland. Your pineal gland is your direct main line to your mind. Your mind is infinite in potential, creates your perception, your imagination. Take your other hand, bring it over your heart space. As we align in this present moment, the energy of our mind with the energy of our bodies, I invite you to repeat infinite love and gratitude. Keep your hand on your heart, take it away from the forehead, place it back. We're raising our consciousness, tuning the instrument of our body that's naturally designed to heal, regenerate and be whole with the infinite power of our mind. Infinite love and gratitude. Take both hands away. Touch them down at the same time as we unify and harmonize the mind and body as one infinite field. Everything becomes possible. And the dreams that you have for your life start to become a reality. Infinite love and gratitude. Relax it. Take a healing breath. Hey, beautiful Lauren Hartman. Great to see you, brother. Take your hand in the I love you posture just like this. Pointed down to the earth, and like the roots of a healthy tree, imagine your hand plugging into Mother Nature. Keep your hand pointed down towards the earth. Energetically in your mind, feel your connection to nature. The constant on this planet is change. It's the one thing you can count on. All the seasons and the cycles, all the different elements, Water, the trees, tectonic plates, constantly moving and changing. The more connected you are to nature, the more that you thrive in your life. And with all the stress that's going on in your life, the things and changes that you're enduring right now, take your other hand and bring it into your heart. And imagine yourself like an ocean wave crashing upon the shore or the tree that has healthy roots, breaking through huge rocks. This energy is your energy. I invite you to repeat, I am a thriving body. My body is thriving. Change is my nature. Infinite love and gratitude. Good job, stay plugged in with Mother Earth. The hand that's here, just lift it up a bit, put it right over your forehead as you align the energy of your mind to the energy of Mother Earth, the mind that sees change that not only is natural, but that change is necessary if you're gonna grow in your life. I invite you to repeat, I am a thriving mind. My mind is thriving. Change is necessary. Infinite love and gratitude. Stay plugged in with Mother Earth. Hand that's on the forehead, all the fingers touch them to the crown. As you align your spirit with the spirit of nature, I invite you to repeat, I am a thriving spirit. My spirit is thriving. Change is my nature. Infinite love and gratitude. Relax your hands. Take a healing breath, let it go. And take your hands right now from the duality of life, bring them together into oneness. This ancient posture right here, this ancient posture is a universal posture for prayer. People from all over the world, whatever your faith is, connect to it and bring it into your heart. 
touch it next to your sternum and feel the energy of oneness in your heart right now. I invite you to repeat, I am one with my body. My body is one with the universe. All is well. Infinite love and gratitude. This posture, bring it up right over here. Aligning the energy of our minds with the mind of oneness, your highest self. I invite you to repeat, I am one with my mind. My mind is one with the universe. All is well. Infinite love and gratitude. Bring it all the way up. We align our spirits with the spirit of your highest self. I invite you to repeat, I am one with my spirit. My spirit is one with the universe. All is well. Infinite love and gratitude. Relax your hands. Take a healing breath. And let it go. I want to welcome you all to the present moment. You just tuned your instrument. It's like a symphony. Everybody's battery is fully charged and now we're plugged in. It is the first step of the lifeline technique. Now, in our world, as men, as any human being, but as men, there are a lot of stresses that we endure. And these stressors are really challenging, especially because men throughout history have gone through the journey of their emotions solo. They keep them inside. And there is a cultural trance that says, you know what? Being vulnerable is shameful. Be strong. I'll give you something to cry about. And so men have um, learned through generations on how to put on a different mask, hide the real feelings, and disconnect and um, show up in a way where I got to show up for my family, I got to show up for, you know, whatever it might be. And what it means to be our authentic self in this world is a unique thing. In the lifeline process, awakening the courageous leader within, there's a primary philosophy, and that is everything that you think is wrong, every problem that you're currently facing in your life is actually not a problem at all. It's called a portal. And the portal is to the next greatest version of yourself. So in your personal life, in your professional life, in your family, with your health, where you are struggling, where you are stuck, where you find yourself suffering, that isn't what's wrong with you. That is actually a meaningful and significant code in conversation. And as long as you're looking at it as a problem, then you're gonna stay in a cycle of a mindset of attempting to fix things and fight things, run away from things. But life is the journey of consciousness. And in the lifeline, we purposely search for the so-called portals, the so-called problems. There's no vulnerability in it. This is not therapy. You don't have to talk about something if you don't want to. And if you do, you can when you're doing a lifeline session. I want you to, everybody, follow me in this process right now. I want you to take a moment right now to observe your body. I want you to observe what is it about your body that isn't working right? What are the symptoms, the diseases that you've been diagnosed with, the aspects of your physical health that um, you struggle with? If you don't mind grabbing a piece of paper and a pen, write down 
on the piece of paper in front of you the physical symptoms that your body is expressing, the aspects of your health, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, your weight, chronic pain, vision, diagnosed with diabetes. Take a moment right now, write down the physical symptoms that you're currently right now experiencing in your body. And on a scale of zero to 10, where 10 is it's the worst thing that could ever happen, get me off this flipping planet. One way ticket, I'm going to the moon, I'm not coming back. Zero is nothing, rate the physical symptoms that your body's expressing. And after you've written down the physical symptoms and you've rated them on a scale zero to 10, 10 is most, zero is nothing, let me know you have by going like this. Awesome. Great job, Mike. Steve. I'm going to have you now shift. And I'm going to have you connect to your life. And take a moment right now to tune into the portals of your life. What does that mean? Where is it in your life that you're stressed? Is it professionally? What you're doing for a living? Financially? Is it your family? Family that you came from? Family that you're currently in? Is it the future? Take a moment right now. You'll notice that you immediately begin to think about certain people in certain situations that are stressful. Write down on the piece of paper in front of you what it is or who it is in your life that triggers you into stress. After you've written down what it is or who it is that's stressful for you, let me know that you have just by going like this. Good job. Everybody write down what it is that's stressful for them. Now the key here is to bring out our emotions. So I'm gonna guide you here, because the emotions are key. Having an appreciation for the emotions that you feel in a moment of stress is key to the beginning of change, real change. As you think about what is going on or what's not going on, what's happened, what do you hope doesn't happen that's causing you to be stressed? What emotion does that cause you to feel as you tune into that right now? What emotion do you feel as you're connecting to the stress that's going on in your life? Anxiety, frustration, overwhelm, anger, despair, numb, Whatever the emotion is, write it down. And on a scale of zero to 10, 10 is it's the most. Zero is nothing. Rate your emotions. Rate the emotions you're feeling with the current stress. And after you've rated the emotions, let me know you have by going like this. Good job. Rob, you got it? Awesome. So those symptoms and those stressors are what we call the portal. And in the lifeline, after we get ourselves present and we observe symptoms and stressors, it's easy to judge ourselves 
for what's going on in our body, what's going on in our life, what's not going on. It's easy to judge, but judgment just gets us, gets us caught up in the past, keeps us in a loop, worried about the future. And so we want to shift any and all judgment into discernment. And we do this with a question. And this question is called the truth question. And the truth question is only a truth question if everyone answers it the same way. Otherwise, a question can't be called the truth question. And I have discovered that so far, everyone that I've ever asked this question, and I've done well over 100,000 Lifeline sessions, everyone that I ask this question to answers it the same way. Let's see how it works for you guys. As you look at the symptoms that you wrote down on the piece of paper in front of you, the way that your body's expressing itself, disease states, medication that you've got to take. As you tune into the stress that's going on in your life, personally, family, professionally, the emotions that you're feeling, anger, frustration, sadness, fear, anxiety, whatever it is that you wrote down. If you were given the opportunity where you could create your life, you could create a day, you could create a moment in time, would you ever choose to create your life with what you wrote down on the piece of paper in front of you? Would anyone ever choose to create their life in that way? Hell no. Love it. Mike Weiss and Jerry Welk are in the house. The answer is hell freaking no. No way. But they're going on, right? So it seems like the most ignoramus question, but what's significant about it is this when you're aware of where you're struggling where you're stressed where you're stuck where you suffer you're conscious your conscious aware mind is your only mind that chooses if you're not aware of something you cannot choose not until you become aware but you're aware of something that you would never choose and when you're aware of something that's not an action or a choice, what you're aware of is a reaction. There's something that's triggering you to react in your body, react in your behavior, react emotionally. And that reactive part of you is called your subconscious. It does not choose. It does not judge. Like getting too close to your eyes, you blink. It's reflexive, it's automatic, it's autonomic. It just reacts. And you become the reactive version of yourself when your subconscious mind gets triggered. Now, being aware of your subconscious mind isn't enough. Being aware, reading a book, hey, I'm aware of the subconscious mind. I know all about it. Doesn't matter. Awareness alone will not change your subconscious mind. You actually have to have access to it. And there are specific steps that you've got to follow so that your subconscious mind, like a good dog, will follow you. So when we're aware of this portal of the subconscious mind, as powerful as the mind is, and it is, it orchestrates every cell in our body. It influences the healing of our organs, our glands. It stores memory so that we can learn and grow and evolve as a human being. And as powerful as that is, and that's so powerful, the one thing that's more powerful is your heart. And when you're courageous enough to awaken the leader inside of your heart, you will discover the fullest potential of excellence that enables you to shift these patterns and raise your health, shift these patterns and influence your relationships, the people that you love and care for. And there's two golden rules that we follow. First, we focus where we're going. 
not what we're looking to get away from. There's nothing wrong with you because you're angry or afraid or scared or overwhelmed, guilty or shameful. This is how your body, this is how your life is speaking to you. So I'm going to guide you into setting an intention right now so that you can begin the process of shifting the reactive patterns that are actually going on in your body and in your life. I invite you to take your hand, put it over your heart. Inside your heart, you've got a menu of infinite possibilities. Bring your best self here right now. No more, but no less. Whatever your best self is today, bring it here. In the face of what it is that's stressful for you right now, what is your best self? What is the leader inside of your heart desire to feel in your life? If your heart could choose to feel anything right now, what does your heart desire to feel? Write that down on the piece of paper in front of you. That feeling that your heart desires is the heart of the matter. That is the only thing that matters right now. This is not about getting away from the anger, the fear, the frustration, the stuck. Whatever your heart desires. Is there anybody on here, raise your hand if you're open to sharing what your heart's intention is. Anybody that's open to sharing that? Steve, what is it that your, your heart desires to feel? Joy and relaxation. Joy and relaxation. Awesome. Now, what we do when we set an intention, our second golden rule is to set our intention where we're going as if we're already there because the nature of the mind is it's going to follow you. So might as well aim for the gold medal. Might as well aim for the bullseye. And for Steve, if he was already there, he could say, I am joy and relaxation. Steve, go ahead and say that. I am joy and relaxation. 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 One more time. I am joy and I, relaxation. I am joy and relaxation. I invite you to repeat. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Thank you, Steve. That's awesome. So whatever your intention is, write I am in front of it. Write I am in front of it. Now, the next step is once you've got your intention, the way that our system is wired, hardwired, is that our brain and our body, as intricate and beautiful and amazing as they are, our brain and body don't know the difference between memories that get triggered, what's actually going on, or imagination. And so we can use our imagination as a means to bring forth a whole new experience into what's called our neural network, into our physiology. So the question is, are you open right now? Are you ready? Are you willing to use your imagination? How does it feel to imagine yourself, your life, personally, professionally, family, your health? How does it feel to imagine yourself in your world of I am, joy and relaxation for Steve, how does it feel to imagine where your most important relationships are the fullest reflection of your I am intention? How does that feel to imagine? Write that feeling down. After you've written that down, let me know you have just by going like this. Beautiful. That feeling is a sign that your I am intention already exists inside of you. It's a sign that what you've been looking for 
you don't have to actually look far. It already exists within you. And that feeling in all reality is medicine. It's a chemical reaction being produced by your cells. Chemicals make up medicine. Medicine is made of chemicals. And it's a sign that your I am essence is alive. Now, in this process of awakening the courageous leader within, aligning men to their fullest potential of excellence, a lifeline for men, my vision is to, rather than have a place where we sit and we talk, I'm into it, you know, but my vision is to teach you a tool that becomes a practice where every day you can, through beginning to understand how your mind works, its interconnections, your heart, how to process emotions, to guide you into learning a simple step-by-step -step process so that you can create a shift on a subconscious level. Your subconscious mind is at the root of 90 to 98% of your reality. It's the nature of it. Unless we actually get our subconscious mind on board, patterns of reaction stay in motion. That's why so often we read a book, or we go to a seminar, we do things, and the next week we're back to the same old pattern, struggling. New Year's resolution, here I am at the beginning of 2017. I'm gung-ho to change all these things that have been going on, and a month into it, I'm back to the old patterns again. The question is, are you ready to awaken the courageous leader within? Are you open to learning new tools that will inspire you and empower you to create real change in your life? And um, kind of like the movie, The Matrix, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's one of my favorite movies. And when Neo, was getting ready to take the pill, the blue pill or the red pill. Morpheus said, no one can be told what the matrix is. You have to experience it yourself. So as much as I've been talking for flipping 42 minutes, I'd like to explain to you what the lifeline technique is. There's no way to really explain it. I want to give you an experience that there is a step-by-step -step model that has been going on for thousands of years that we can integrate science and spirit, that we can process emotions, and that we can truly create a life that is authentic, where we feel great about ourselves. And the men that I have taught the lifeline to are so extraordinary. It's just really a whole unique set of unique people that are high powered people that have learned this beautiful process. And I would love to um, actually, I'm gonna start with my buddy, Mike Fiasconi. Hey Mike. Hey Darren. Thanks for being on uh, this webinar right now. Absolutely, happy to be here. How long have you been certified in the Lifeline, Mike? Probably six years. Six years. And what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a sales executive, high tech sales. Mm -hmm. And how is it that learning the lifeline technique has impacted you in your life? You're, you're married, you have a son. How is it that the lifeline technique has impacted you in your life? How do I even put words to that? Because it seems to limit it. Um, but what comes to mind is, the, I guess the biggest thing is just not taking things personally. Once I understood how the subconscious mind works, it's reactive, that people are always doing their best, all beliefs are learned, and just because you learn it doesn't mean it's true, right? So. It has allowed me to not take things as personally, which is helpful in my personal life, with my wife, with my family, my parents, my friends, 
but it's been absolutely huge in my business world. I don't take things personally from my customers, my coworkers, my management. I, it is what it is, uh, you know, and I'm able to not be as reactive in those situations, which is really awesome. And I also can appreciate people for who they really are beneath all those subconscious reactions. So in general, I have more compassion, more compassion for myself, more compassion for others. And you know what happens when you do that is by default, your business starts to flourish. And my income has, you know, I went from not being able to make my mortgage payments, you know, for uh, short selling a home, having a tough time in my career, harmonizing the stress around that, being grateful, setting my intention, doing the work, receiving lifelines, going through some of the training. And, and my career has just exploded. And I, I mean, I made three times the income last year than I would have had, than I made any year before that. But I'm having more fun. I'm more enthusiastic. I'm more grateful. And I'm using it in business. And now I'm starting to get very focused to use it deliberately to manifest opportunities and closing deals and promotions and where I want to go. Uh, and that's been awesome. But the thing that I like the most is using it with our son. And he's 10. And to see my wife and I are both certified and we speak the same language and we can address our parenting the same way and we can recognize that our son is coming from a reactive place. We don't take that as personally. We help him guide what he does want and set an intention. Every day when we take him to school, we drop him off, we have him set his intention for the day. And it's just amazing to see uh, the children and how receptive and open and how they get it. And he's taught me. So from personally to professionally, uh, it's definitely changed my perspective of life. And it's awesome. And, and, and the, the guys that I've shared it with, you know, just a little bit here and there, some of the things, guys that I would never suspect are totally open and are excited and need this and shift very quickly. So this is, this is amazing. And uh, I'm super excited to help spread the word. That's awesome. I so appreciate your authenticity and sharing how it's impacted you. If, if um, you know, certain men are listening in on this conversation what is it, you know, if they're going, you know, wow, for me to take this, why would you recommend for somebody to take this beginning lifeline course? Why not? I mean, what's the downside? You know, if, it, if you don't like it or it doesn't resonate, you just don't do it. It's okay. <laughs> but um, if something, if you feel if something, not your head, but if your heart says, um, I think there's something here, then listen to it. Listen to it. You'd be glad you did. I was very against, not a very against it. I just wasn't into it, right? My wife, she was into it at the time. She, I was with her for her first session when Darren was there. I thought it was weird, to be honest. <laughs> I thought, who's this guy with these uh, Birkenstocks on, you know, and uh, you know, his T-shirt and all these rainbow things around but once I got out of my head and I listened to my heart and then I knew there was something there and she started really feeling some changes and shifts and when she learned it I felt I wasn't able to communicate at the same level so I would just say give it a shot if you feel something continue down the path at any point you could stop and it's totally harmless you know, my brother I've shared it with, my nephews, everybody. It's awesome. It's awesome. I so appreciate it, Mike. In for love and gratitude. In for love and gratitude. Um, Eddie Marsh. Hey, my hey, friend, you just recently got certified in the Lifeline Technique. Tell me a little bit about your background, Eddie. Actually, similar to uh, Mike Fiasconi. Uh, you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, I'm in high tech sales and I've been doing that for about 10 years. And then 
prior to that, I was a fighter pilot in the Air Force for 10 years. So those are my two careers. And uh, I'm looking at, um, you know, potentially what's next or just enhancing what I'm doing right now. And since you found the lifeline and you've gone through experiencing it and learning it, in what way has it impacted you in your life? You know what? I, I was at a seminar about a month and a half ago. And so I wasn't certified yet. <clears throat> but I was at a table with uh, six other people. And I couldn't stop talking about it. And they were really interested in it because of how excited I was about it. And so I gave them numerous examples, but I'm going to reflect back to what you said. It's so hard to explain. Sometimes you have to experience it. And once you experience it, you'll see the fundamental changes it can make in your life. And I can think of a few, uh, better communication with your family, better communication with your coworkers, whether it be your peers, people who work with you, the people you work for. Uh, also, this concept of reducing the refractory period. And what does that mean? It means we all get triggered. Nobody's immune to it on this call. Nobody's immune to it on this earth. Not that I'm aware of anyway. I haven't met that person yet. And so when we get triggered, <clears throat> does that result in, you know, we're in a bad mood for a week. We're in a bad mood. Or, or, or can we reduce, reduce that week down to now a day? Or can we reduce that day now down to an hour? Or can we reduce that, I'm in a bad mood for an hour down to a minute? Or can we reduce that bad mood for a minute down to a second? Those are big changes. When you can do that, you can completely shift how you work with everyone around you. And it doesn't, matter anymore. Because like Mike said, you're not taking it personally. You know, a lot of times when people are, you know, they have resentment or they're angry or they're fearful or they're stressed, you know, it's about what's happening with them or it's about what's happening with us when we're, when we're the ones in it. But when we can process that in a more expeditious, efficient, healthy manner, we can turn our life around. You know what? We actually start turning their life around a little bit too. And we don't get tangled in this thing that happens with coworkers and family. We shift it immediately and we move on to being productive, which is what we all want to do. And uh, gosh, I don't even remember what your question was. This is exactly what happened at the table when I was talking to all these folks. <laughs> I just get excited talking about it. So I don't even know what your question was, but I think that, you know, everybody understands, you know, what's happening in, in the excitement around it because it's powerful. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's just a great point as far as like, what triggers you in your life? Who triggers you? What does it take to get triggered? And then when you get triggered, what are the consequences as a result of being triggered? You know, what's the fallout because of there it is. I, you know, got angry. I got scared. I, got overwhelmed and went into that riptide, fighting against it, fighting against it. What would it be like if you could shift those triggers and those so-called problems, people, situations where you could show up as your best self? And as Mike was saying, now I'm just actively looking for just building my business. It's already built three times the, his level of, of income. What would it be like if I'm oh man, I'm going after my biggest accounts right now. I'm going after my biggest dreams right now. Yeah. And now the so-called roadblocks are roadblocks. They become a doorway. So I so appreciate it. You know, Eddie, when I found out, I'm like, wow, you're a, you're a fighter pilot. <laughs> like, what a cool thing. You know, you are a, you know, it's a man's man. Seriously. It's so like, what a kick-ass thing. It's so amazing. And how awesome for you to know this beautiful technique and for you to use it you know, in such an eloquent way. So thanks for sharing, Eddie. I really appreciate it. You know, and I just want to add one thing to that. And that is fighter pilot or whatever your career is. 
fighter pilots go through grief. They lose people. They lose parents. They lose grandparents. They go through stress. They get in fights with their spouse. They go through divorces. We all have to be able to process those things. We all have to be able to work through those things. This is a great tool to do it. So thank thanks. you. Dan. Oh, thanks for sharing, Eddie. Yep. Love and gratitude. My friend, Brian England. Hey, Brian. Thanks for being on tonight's webinar. Now, um, first and foremost, how did you find out about the Lifeline? Well, thanks, Darren, for uh, asking me to join this. I was very honored when you did. I learned about the Lifeline the first time when my wife wanted to join your program. And I didn't get the hint right away and missed a whole year of it because of that. And then the second year when, it made, when I understood how, how much she really wanted to meet you and take your, take your course, we bought it for her for Christmas and surprised her with it. Um, much like Mike described, when I went to the first meeting and met all the people and didn't watch a session but just saw them and had dinner with them, I thought I had clearly gone to another planet because I didn't understand a word that they were saying. But the one thing that I, I felt instantly was an outpouring of love and respect and acknowledgement of her worth that I had seen many years ago when I asked her to marry me, but she hadn't necessarily always seen. And just the way that it put her in touch and in peace. And as she continued to learn and dove in to become a CLP and the training and the studying and the long hours that she put into it, just watching her grow and flourish and us shedding a tear together when she called me to say that she had passed and, and she was now certified. And um, so that was my first exposure to it. Um, she's been a, a CLP for 18 months now. I've watched her help a lot of people. I've watched her struggle too. And, um, and then of course she asked me to, to go to the boot camp in December. I fought it in every way that I could uh, because it was as far out of my comfort zone as it could be. Um, but you asked Mike, why should somebody take this program? And I would tell you that what has happened in my life in the last month since we did is the best example I could possibly give you for it. There are incredible highs and lows over those three days in the boot camp. Lows when you faced fears and, and triggers and emotions and daggers in your heart. And then highs when you process them and you shared with the other people there. It became to the point on the last day when we, when we finished the, the, mat, the happy mask time, the, the conscious mask, there was such a buzz and a vibration in the room that this ultra logical lawyer would have sworn if you could have handed me a light bulb, it would have shined brightly. And then I left Chicago and I came back. And in the week after I came back, I had three coworkers come up and say, what the hell is different about you? And two of my children pulled my wife aside and said, is dad okay? What's wrong? Why is he doing? Actually, they used four-letter words that I won't repeat, like, what the hell did you do, Mom? And Amy's response was, I took him to boot camp, and this is what it's done. It has been an amazing experience. It's been an eye-opening experience. I don't understand it all, but I know that even with the limited exposure I had with it, my ability to not be triggered and not react instantly in situations and to take a second and pause, and, I, and I'd like to say show up better for my family and my coworkers. That's awesome. It's huge. Huge. Thank you so much for sharing from your heart and being your uh, authentic self. You're such a great guy, and I, I really appreciate you being uh, on this webinar and, and sharing your experience. Thank you. And the last person I'd like to ask just to share is uh, Jeffrey Smith. Hey, Jeff, thanks for being on tonight's webinar. Hey, great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Well, my pleasure. And... Do you mind sharing how you found the lifeline technique? Not at all. It's, it's really a pleasure uh, to share and, and broadcast uh, uh, to as many people as I can run into and, and tell about the lifeline. Uh, so um, just over, uh, uh, let's see, it was uh, August of 2014, I was diagnosed with uh, stage four cancer. And uh, I went to three top medical centers, uh, Cleveland Clinic, University of Michigan, uh, St. John Providence, and uh, all of them had the same diagnosis. Everybody gave me uh, 48 months to live. And um, 
so with faced with that diagnosis, I have uh, own a, I, at the time I owned a wealth management company. I have uh, two children at the time they were 16 and 19. Uh, you know, I was confused. Uh, you know, I didn't know what to do or or uh, what was going to be happening. And a good friend of mine, Barb Warren, uh, had a conversation with cancer as well in her lifetime. And she traveled the world. She went to Machu Picchu and Northern California and all over the place. Uh, looking for ideas and concepts. She's a very brilliant person. And uh, she had run into you, Darren, uh, when she was looking at uh, um, her cancer treatment. And uh, she mentioned you and uh, that I should talk with you. And, um, and uh, to back up a little bit, I, I studied physiology in college, worked at five different hospitals, uh, a number of different emergency rooms. I did a rotation at Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit and through their psych clinic and, and emergency room intensive care units. Um, my minor was in psychology. I was invited to the Rat Olympics in college where we used uh, B.F. Skinner's operative conditioning, uh, B.F. Skinner box. And so I was a student of this starting way back in college and, and uh, worked with people like Tony Robbins before he was Tony Robbins. And um, I have materials his that uh, he's not allowed to use anymore because uh, it was before he incorporated it on his own. So I, I, this is something I've been a student of. So when Barb mentioned you, I thought to myself, ah, okay, I'll do this. But you know, I, last thing I need is some kind of talk therapy, sitting on a couch situation. And um, right from the first session, I immediately knew some of the questions you were asking. And through going through the process, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is exactly what I need right now. And um, it was just so enlightening. It was, it, it, it gave me uh, um, a sense of hope. And you were the, one of the first people, even after talking to these three different medical centers, talked about putting together a dream team and looking at things holistically and opening up to a community. And one, one of the things I've enjoyed most about the Lifeline is the people you bring in. And, uh, you know, whether it's uh, Nikki Jacoby or, or Brett or uh, Dorothy, you know, uh, just so many great people who are like-minded and have this passion for life. Uh, it's such a great community. And they bring you with their own stories. You think you had a story with stage four cancer, then you listen to somebody else's story, you're like, oh my goodness, that is a heck of a story and what they've been through. And then their knowledge, uh, their learnings, um, uh, they take you to another level. So uh, I've been in remission uh, since uh, February 2015. Uh, I used to see a doctor every four months. Now they've put me off to seeing doctors every eight months uh, and, uh, you know, feeling bigger and better and stronger and, and just really following my heart every day and uh, feeling energized and really feeding the field around me and people around me are feeling energized as well. So. Uh, I can only say that this is a great journey, and, and it really doesn't take that much time to learn. So uh, kind of echoing what Mike said, give it a try. There's, there's really no downside. Um, if, you, if you like it, man, you will use it for the rest of your life. And if not, well, that's how it goes. But it's a beautiful, beautiful tool. Bring together ancient wisdom and modern neuroscience. It's really, it's really brilliant. That's awesome. I so appreciate you sharing. Um, your journey because it's powerful and so powerful. Yeah, I have a question for you. You know, as a result of knowing what you know now and being through what you've been through, who do you see yourself being in the future that you weren't able to see before? Um, well, before I think my focus was on money. I, I owned a wealth management firm. I focused a lot on my career and making money. And, um, and there was a lot of people to help through their, um, their challenges with money and what to do with their money, how to invest it. So I knew I was helping people, uh, but my true nature is, is really to uh, interact with people a lot more on a much more, <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm gonna say a, a much more direct um, level as opposed to a superficial level. <clears throat> Pardon me, I, I had just flew in from uh, Arizona yesterday and I got a little cold. Um, and so being able to work with people uh, really where their heart is and on so many different ways. And so uh, last year, I was able to go through so many different things. I, I sold my business. Uh, fortunately, I'm able to do that and uh, did very well with that. But uh, being able to really 
uh, help people heal and feel and share with them, you know, all the knowledge from the lifeline and more. So uh, I really look forward to my life and, and really living from my heart, living from a heartfelt desire. It's awesome. Well, thanks for sharing. It's really, you're an inspiration and just a beautiful person and I'm honored to have you as a friend. No, I'm honored too. Thank you. Infinite love and gratitude. Yeah. So it's, um, it's seven Oh five. So I, I want to start to bring this together. Here's the vision that I have for awakening the courageous leader within it's first and foremost to give you a, to bring you through a four week course that will be for anyone and everyone, men, women, actually children, teenagers could actually get it. Um, Connor, Mike's uh, son spent six days at a training with my oldest daughter, Joya. So, but the four week course, anyone can be a part of it. Um, and I will teach you a tool that I call the manifestation system. And it's a step-by-step -step process that enables you to manifest with intention rather than perpetuate reactive patterns and being triggered like a ping pong ball so that you can see the portals, jump on in and create a shift and also teaching you what we call a see, feel, hear process. It's a simple, powerful way for processing emotions. It's amazing, it's beautiful. So it's a four week course that at the end of the four weeks, you will know this tool. There's an e-learning component that goes along with it where you can watch videos and listen to narrated slides, uh, printable PDFs of a step-by-step -step sequence on how to do it so that anyone can learn this, that at the end of the four weeks, you'll know how. But the way that the mind works, the way that the brain works, it takes 19 days to create a new, what's called neural network, a new pathway for your nervous system, a habit. So, I want to really make sure that that's in. So after the four week lifeline ignite course, there will be what's called the 28 day challenge. And the 28 day challenge will be to apply the process that I teach you every day for 28 days. Promise you at the end of that 28 days, your mind will be thinking differently. You will never again see yourself or the world around you in the same way. That victim type of energy field will turn into the victor. It's just the nature of the process. Now, after the 28 day challenge, now it's, it's the man and me. It's us together as a group. And we're going to go through a four week specific course just with men where the first week we, I'm going to be sending you some questions that you'll fill out. You'll take some time to come from your heart. And we're going to look at our personal lives. What's working? More importantly, what's not working? Second week, professional lives. What's working? What's not working? Third week, family. What's working? What's not working? So that you can start to create a clear vision and apply the information that you learn from the Lifeline Ignite for you to manifest the life that you love to live. The fourth week, I'm going to freaking blow your minds because I'm gonna then take you into the deep hole of the subconscious and I'm gonna show you what this full system really looks like. So it's a beautiful process. Um, David, who is my cousin, um, posted on this side link it, where you can sign up for the program. We are offering a $40 discount on the program so it's 289, it will be 249. Um, for those that decide to sign up today, I encourage you to do, for it, to do it, to go for it. If this is something that resonates, if what you heard today from me or from Mike Fiasconi or from Eddie or, or from Brian or from Jeff, if this has been in any way an inspiration for you to go, 2017, this is my year. I'm waking up the courageous leader within. I'm discovering a new way. I'm going to create real change. Then you're going to love it. And the reality is, this can't hurt you. Can't hurt you. It will only help you. I promise it will. I feel so blessed. And I really have such a strong passion. I was nervous about this. I was like, God, how do I connect with men? 
you know, just been doing this with women. It's not because of my good looks, guys. No, it's because this stuff works. Stuff works. It's amazing. But uh, it's time for men to own our power and to have a real beautiful practice and a real tool. And uh, let's see what we can grow with this. So I, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen, to be a part of this, to learn about it. If you have any questions whatsoever, um, you can send me a private email at uh, Darren at the Lifeline Center .com. It's D A R R E N, Darren at the Lifeline Center, and it's C E N T E R dot com. And um, that's my private email, and I'll get back to you if you send me an email. And um, and we'll go from there. But, but thank you for your time. Thank you for your positive energy. Thank you for your, uh, you know, for really being attentive and being a part of this. I really appreciate it. And um, may this year be the best year ever to you and your beautiful families. Infinite love and gratitude, everyone. I'm going to unmute y'all. Rock it out. Actually, I don't know how to unmute y'all. Do you know how to, David? I'll, I'll do it. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brett. Dude, love and gratitude. Thank you, Brett. Love and gratitude. Mike Biscone. Thank you, Ann. Love and gratitude, Jeffrey. Oh, you two are in the same room. Finicky. <laughs> <laughs> it really is a lifeline, guys. The Dorothy is a lifeline. Michael Weiss. Thanks for being on it, buddy. Can you see it? And Elisa. Rob, it's great oh, to see man. you, buddy. Love and gratitude. Hey, Mike. <laughs> Mike, hey, Mike. Thanks for being on it, hey, buddy. Eddie. Love and gratitude. Oh, love and gratitude. Daddy. Lifeline yeah. is sexy. Hey, Jeff. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, everyone. Love and gratitude. <laughs> it is sexy. It, it is. It is sexy. <laughs>